Okay, so we're on today with Robert Walker of The Blogging Show and 4K Blogging. I think he got his start on nogym.net and has uh, worked for a couple small blogs uh, before and I think now he still does a couple. And uh, I'm going to go through some questions with him. So Robert, thank you for coming on. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's great. Yeah, and thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, so yeah, I'm just going to jump into these. I'm sure you got stuff to do. So uh, the first question is, uh, so where were you when you began? So physical location, uh, mentally, emotionally. Uh, I know you did some guest posting, like I mentioned, for nogym.net, one uh, of your first published articles, which was fantastic. Uh, and I think that was back when you were maybe still in high school and your competitive running days. So if you could just talk about how you got started with the whole blogging thing, like overall where you were at. Yeah, so actually Chris and I started our first blogs at the same exact time on the same day. Um, we were in the basement and Chris was actually like, living in our basement. He had just gotten done with his, uh, his first startup company and we were kind of just like, well, and Chris was like, I have to do something. So, yeah. uh, we were like, okay, let's just start blogs at the same time. Yeah. And his was nojim.net and mine was a blog that no one's ever heard of <laughs> called 44.org. It's okay. And it was a music review website. And oh, yeah, we yeah. definitely had different paths after that. Chris. Chris's blew up super quickly and I just didn't, I think it was more like Chris had the desperation of like living in our basement. I was just in high school so I was just kind of like whatever, whatever yeah. and he, he killed it and, um, and I just kind of got to, to watch him all the way up and then, so that's where I was. I was just home in my basement. Uh, I was 15, I think. Oh wow. That's so really, really sorry. when I first did my first thing and I uh, that was the first experience I ever had. I think I wrote like four posts. One of them was about like the scientific reason why Nickelback. Is I remember bad. seeing that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <see? laughs> so it was like it was real quick, uh, three seconds of fame, and I got to watch Chris go through all his stuff uh, while I was in high school. So yeah. That's how I okay, so you're kind of just watching um, like NoGym.net kind of grow. And yeah. were you still practicing at that point, like publishing anything, or were you kind of just focusing on high school at that point? After, yeah, after like two months, <laughs> the the homework of high school kind of yeah. got in the way of what I was doing. Um, but I think I talked to Chris about strategy and the next move in Nodium.net and everything every week at least, even after he left the house. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, we were both like – I was kind of behind the scenes of, uh, I didn't do any work for Nodem.net, but I talked to Chris a lot about what he was going to do next, and I learned more than I even realized yeah. about the whole business just from like kind of watching him and uh, talking to him about how he's doing Nodem.net and now Test Shock and then other stuff now, and it's it's crazy. So, yeah, that's fortunate, man. I'm sure you're learning a lot. Um, That's cool. Yeah. Okay, so now you are, you said, starting your second year of college, correct? Right. And you have been, this last year you kind of started working in with 4K blogging the blogs. Was that just this summer or did you get into it really all of last year? Um, okay, so the, actually the blogging show, it's funny. I didn't, I was, that was the only project of Chris's that I wasn't involved in whatsoever. Um, and then uh, he wanted me, he was getting real busy and he was like, okay, I need you to do something for me. And he was like, run 4K blog, not the blogging show or anything else. Just run 4K blogging and blogging mission. Yeah. He was like, the members are getting mad, you know, like <laughs> I'm not doing anything. So you, yeah. you need to take this and uh, you need to work it out. And that was in May, I think, of this year. Okay. Uh, so it was pretty recent. And, you know, that was like my first real crack at product sale. Mm -hmm. um, so it wasn't even the blogging show at all. And, uh, I guess like we can get into my uh, my my little my game plan a little bit. It wasn't good. It was uh, my first. As a fail. I never I never realized how hard it would be because I never talked to Chris about this because he never he never done it before. I never realized how hard it would be to resurrect a cold email list. Yeah. And it was insane. I had such a hard time with it. So he he handed me 4K blogging and he handed me the blogging show email list with around a thousand people on it and okay. I was like, oh, psych, like, I was psyched. I got a thousand people on my email list to start off with, but yeah. little did I know that was, I didn't, probably 90% of those people were dead leads, you know, like yeah. it was Ready really- Ready to subscribe, like didn't you remember they're on it? Right, Yeah. so the, the first thing I did was I emailed the, um, the current 4K blogging members from the old version. Yeah. And I talked to them, offered them a free 
free membership for a testimonial because I know testimonials are like super valuable oh, yeah, uh, yeah. from Notion.net and all the <laughs> physical products that he's done. So I got those um, from the members, gave them the free access, and then my I, I'm still happy with those choices. Yeah. My next my next uh, go at it was to take every all thousand people mm -hmm. and individually email them um, like using their name and everything real personal. Oh wow! Um, yeah, uh, and I was gonna I was gonna email them and just kind of let them know what was up. 4K blogging's back on. Uh, it's new, it's cheaper, it's a one-time fee instead of the monthly that it used to be. Yeah. And it went terribly. I got, uh, uh, I think I got, uh, I emailed uh, almost 600 people yeah. over three days, probably over two days, yeah. and I got like two sales. So That's awesome. <laughs> I, I, knew, I knew that was not the way to go after that, and I also, like, a lot of people unsubscribed from the email list, so I was like, yeah. oh, wow. you know, I, uh, it, that that's when I knew like this email list is really cold. He hadn't touched it in six months. Oh wow! And it was gonna have to really resurrect to, uh, and I was gonna have to take a lot slower route than I thought I was going to because I was expecting. I was like, yeah, I know like the conversion rates of email lists is, is like you know, uh, it can be like three to seven percent if it's real good, and you know I can uh, I can make some good money off this the hundred dollar product. And I was like, okay. Good, yeah. And then uh, I made like nothing. So, so I really had to take a step back yeah. and reevaluate. So, and and for everyone that's not familiar with what we're talking about, uh, the blog 4kblogging.com, uh, correct? Uh, 4kblogging.com is the product. Yeah, that's the that's the beginning of the product. And that teaches people how to start a blog that eventually make four thousand dollars a month, correct? Four thousand dollars a month. Yes. Okay. And then the other main blog that you work on is the bloggingshow.com, which is another like blog resource. Right, uh, and the, the cool thing about um, that is I was actually going to uh, take 4K blogging, my next strategy after what I just said, yeah. was to start a blog myself. Yeah. Um, I was gonna be called Blogging From Zero, and I had like everything, and I was going to, I had already written a few posts, and I was gonna sell 4K blogging from that, and I didn't yep. even think, you know, I needed, I was like, I need to start over, I need to trash the, like, the email list is dead. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna start completely over and do it myself. Um, using the tactic in 4k blogging to do it okay so i thought that was going to be like kind of a cool take on the whole thing and um then what right when i started chris was like no he's like dude just take the blogging show um i'll give you the whole site not just the email list um and you can work with that and what i did i, I pretty much started wow. from zero after that point i yeah i i redid the site now twice yeah i saw the redo it looks good man. yeah to make it better thanks yeah um working on that and uh, I think it's really, it's back up. The, the email list now from leads that I've generated myself is back up to what it was before I just like massacred it. <laughs> so that's good. And um, you know, I am actually like making close to the, the 4K blogging like mark. So that's yeah. um, at this point now. So yeah. that's pretty cool. And it's all using stuff that is in the course that I'm selling. So. Yeah. Um, it ended up working out well. It's reputable. It's like real stuff. So that's good. Wow. And so for your, uh, remember the business then, you were kind of just aiming to go off what Chris had started with that. So did you have, in terms of like where you were getting customers, were you still trying to get a lot from like iTunes and YouTube? I know they started like a podcasting for 4K blogging. Are you planning on using that or, or did you plan on using it? Yeah. So we are actually going to record, um, I haven't even told anybody this yet. We're actually going to record the uh, next blogging show episode this week. Oh wow! And then okay. we're gonna yeah, we're we're getting that back in, and that's gonna be another traffic acquisition thing. Um, but you know, really, the the audience for me, I just the way I'm going to try to get new traffic is mostly by um, you know guest posting and um, on like on blogs that I think that I want their audience. Yeah. Um, using like tactics that I've, I've learned from doing that. And also I've been really trying to kind of hack the social media thing because it's changing a lot right now. Okay. Um, you know, when I was doing, um, so like a little backstory, I was super into Facebook posting, yeah. like the marketing of a, of a of like posts. articles, yeah. Because um, I did this website called conservativeblend.com just for fun in my high school. I, I've 
I've talked about it a little on the blog yeah. um, as like a case study. And what I did there was I took viral news, um, made this fake, like it was, it's a real website, but it was just like, fake news. Uh, under like a fake alias, like Ron Newport the third or something. And, um, it was, he was super conservative, you know, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. That's great. And, like extremist. It was so funny. And I, what I did was I took viral news. I took like, a little conservative take on it and I just put it on. It took me like five minutes a day, credited the source and everything. So it was That's all good. Funny. And then, um, I ended up getting something like 50,000 views that month. In the first month, it was live. Uh, That's and I was just like trying to make money off of ads and stuff. And yeah. I ended up making like 70 bucks. But, <laughs> um, Wait, what kind of ads? Like, are you talking like Google ads or ads? Yeah, Google ads. Oh. Yeah, yeah. 70 on um, Google ads, ads is pretty good. Yeah, Don't so <laughs> that, was, that was the experience I got with Facebook. Um, and then about even just four months later, you can kind of tell that Facebook is trying to drive people out of that niche kind okay. of thing yeah. because they don't want people leaving Facebook uh, by clicking on other people's articles. Oh, so, so you mean you driving them out of the niche of articles that click out off of Facebook? Yeah, the, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. what, yeah, that's what I meant. Um, so basically, like, it, basically anybody watching that this that has tried to uh, ever post an article from like a, a Facebook group, yeah, um, or like a like a fan page. Their, your post reach is going to go way down recently because they're, I, my guess is it's because they're releasing the instant articles thing, okay. um, which is like a native to Facebook, like within their whole thing. And mm -hmm. um, I think that's what they're trying to do. But right now you have to boost the posts and everything. And I didn't have to do that back when I was running conservative blend. Yeah. Um, so I've had to adapt a little. Um, I'm looking into uh, Twitter. I've kind of uh, gotten into the game with that. I've gotten some good traffic from Twitter just from using, honestly, the, the hashtag growth hacking yeah. hashtag yeah. is just like ridiculous. Like I, I post it and then I check two minutes later and there's like eight retweets and like, I don't know. So and you I mean like you put that like hashtag growth hacking into a tweet or that's the whole tweet? Like Yeah, uh, just so, so I post my article, I have right, like an article, image yeah. or a large summary card and then hashtag growth hacking or like okay. hashtag entrepreneur and I get like eight eight favorites and like, you know, eight favorites, couple retweets and couple minutes. It's a really active hashtag. So if so anybody watching just... that, this, that isn't, is in the, the growth hacking anything, uh, <laughs> for that is that is, it gets, it gets good traffic. I, I get uh, plenty of uh, views to stop that. How'd you come up with that? Were you just trying different hashtags for the articles and just, well, yeah, first I was trying different hashtags and, uh, I was, I was using the entrepreneur one. It was actually Chris's idea to take the. He was like, try growth hacking because that's like a, you know, that's a Love tight her. group of people. Yeah. And uh, and I, I I'm like, I, I'm a frequent on uh, on growthhackers.com and everything, so I'm like familiar with that whole group and I know how active they are. So yeah. I thought I think mean, that's a good try, and then we tried it and it just it, it killed it. That's so, awesome. Um, but I'm just playing around with that. I I think that I'm gonna start a Periscope. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you you uh, if anybody's into that, but. I'm gonna start a Periscope because I feel like that's like the next step for online business, social media, just because you can no, like, buy it. A Periscope? Could you could you talk about that a little? Or yeah, um, I haven't gotten super into it yet, um, but you know I, I've tried it a couple times, and I think it's such a good good thing because you can. Uh, so for example, on the blogging show, what I'm gonna do when I start my Periscope is I'm yeah. gonna um, be like to to you 4K blogging members or blogging mission members, you know, um, if you have any questions um, about anything. Yeah. I'm gonna be on Periscope uh, in at 7 p.m. sharp, okay. and I'm gonna title it like something interesting, captivating, um, and then you guys can follow me. They get a notification when I go live, yeah. and then I can just answer all the questions. They can ask me questions on the feed, and it's completely live. I don't have to record, I don't have to edit. Yeah. It's just live question answer. And okay. then the cool thing about that is that um, people, random people across the world that are looking at um, Periscope see that you know you come up and if your title is interesting enough you know they'll log in and then that's just like a brand new audience so I feel like Periscope is a, a really good way to you know easily attract a new audience and I think that's gonna be the next step for um, for at least uh, for me to try my next social media steps probably gonna be Periscope for the blogging show and Periscope and that so that sounds like I actually haven't heard of this is that sounds like the webinar platform like live webinars yes it is it's a live webinar thing yeah is that the uh, URL? it's actually by Twitter oh it's so Twitter, um, okay. yeah and you can you can record the videos you can save the videos um, so then you can just take those videos and post them on YouTube so it's kind of like it's a really wow. really cool platform that I think is gonna be the next the next big thing for 
this business, you know? Wow, that's fantastic. That's awesome. Yeah. That's something that I will definitely look into. So when you started this, um, I know you're in college now, so maybe this doesn't apply to you, but did you have like any, like a lot of people leaving their jobs have like a lot of fears and stuff about putting time into it, you know, maybe that you could apply to like a side job or studying more. Do you have any like fears and doubts or for you, was it kind of just like smooth sailing? Oh man, I, <coughs> college, is a, college is a lot of, I'm an engineering student, so cool. I, I have a lot of work going on. I'm trying to finish a five year program in four years. Okay. So it's actually, uh, it's actually been a little bit of a grind even since just this year. So, wow, okay. um, so yeah, there's some fear and doubt in, uh, in like whether or not I'm going to be able to maintain my schedule, but I knew going into, um, going into the blogging show that I was going to have this problem. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to post three times a week. I'm not going to go any higher than that. I'm going to set my schedule yeah. because, uh, maybe once when I get comfortable, maybe I'll start posting like four or five times a week, but I set myself a, a pretty realistic schedule. Um, I was also working a job over summer writing for a different blog. Yeah. So uh, I also had that going on, and I got to – it was a nice transition because it wasn't it – was, it was only like you know, 12 hours a week kind of thing. Uh, yeah. So it was a nice transition into this, which is like full life. And my biggest, <laughs> yeah. my biggest uh, concern is that college is so you know, social that I might lose some of the social aspect of it from this. Yeah. But, um, you know – there have been sacrifices since I started, but I think it's it's so worth it, you know, because you know the money helps the social aspect as well. You know, I can oh, actually yeah. like when people when people are like, hey, you want to go out for dinner? Like last year, even I was like, you know, I'm broke. I got I can't go out to dinner, yeah. and now I'm like, yeah, sure, you know, let's let's go, let's go spend five hundred dollars at IKEA or something, you know, like, yeah, uh, yeah, let's go have some fun. So it, it there there are fears, there's sacrifice, but um, in the at the end of the day, it's been worth it. I know a job is different. I, uh, I guess if if somebody was looking to quit their job to do this, I would not recommend going like uh, just like walking in, giving your two weeks notice, and then starting your blog. I would definitely recommend like a a transition period where you're you're sure that you can do this. But there's gonna have to be a leap of faith because um, I haven't even experienced this yet. But I know from watching people like, for example, Greg O'Gallagher. Um, who this is his job? Like he dropped out of college to do the blogging thing at Kino Body. Yes, yeah. And um, I see like when you're super devoted and like this is your job, how fast it blows up. But um, you know, I, I can't I can't afford to do that right now because school. And then um, you know, people with a job, if you take it you take it slow, you won't get there as quickly, but you can get there just as effectively. Yeah. So um, you know, it might take a little longer than you know six months to make four thousand dollars a month when you're um when you're working a job full time but you know if you give it a year even and if you think about how worth it that is to have such supplemental income just yeah. from a year of a little hard work yeah uh you're making you know some people that's more than they make that's some people that's double you know what they make so uh it, it's definitely definitely worth giving a shot uh for anybody that has a job even so, yeah, I mean, it sounds like you're taking it, I mean, even though you're doing it part-time, like you said, like, it's part of your schedule now, you have it, you know, scheduled in, like, a part-time yep. job, so. Every single day. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's definitely, that's definitely professional as well. So, uh, I guess, normally I ask people what they did when their family and friends, etc., start asking them questions about what they're doing. I know in your case, your family's deeply involved in this endeavor yeah. now, but is it weird talking to your friends about, like, hey, I got to go work on this blog, I can't go out, like, how yeah, do you deal with that? They don't get it at all, oh, yeah. <laughs> my, my family gets it, yeah. I don't even think my, my family completely gets it, other than, you know, Chris really gets it, mm -hmm. um, but they, they obviously understand how effective it can be, I know they had a little bit of a doubting period of my brother when he started to do this, yeah. um, but now it's, I'm, I'm glad I don't have that, because they know, like, Chris is making his entire living off of this, Yeah. Um, and I hope to be one day, or by the time I graduate as well, so, um, but my friends, it's a different story. So they, I mean, I think that, you know, um, everybody's still in the mindset of, uh, gotta get a job, gotta work for somebody at a college. And, you know, while that is good, I think, you know, the next cultural paradigm shift of, uh, I think it's even my generation or the a couple of years right behind is going to be like self-employment is like the answer to what do I want to be when I grow up? Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like my answer when everybody's like, Oh, what do you want to do after college? I'm like, 
uh, you know, I want to have my own business. I want to run a blog. And yeah. they're all like, what? <laughs> you know, like a yeah. Tumblr or something, you know? Oh, um, nope. <laughs> it's, uh, it's definitely a science to it, and a lot of people don't understand it yet, which is why, um, you know, I, I really have so much respect for people that um, really make it in this business, especially people that are older than me that have been doing it for like 10 years. Mm -hmm. Like, to see ahead of time that this is going to be so huge is, I have a lot of respect for those people, and um, I think that as the years go by, people will start to understand it more, but right now there's definitely a, a gap where the only thing they understand is when I actually have money, and then they're like, okay, well, I, I kind of get it. You got it somehow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that whole one about what do you want to do is pretty funny. It's like, well, same thing I'm doing now, just less engineering classes and more of the ball. Yeah, <laughs> engineering is a good background, you know. I gotta. Oh yeah. And then I'm also doing systems engineering, so that is actually that's helped me a lot. Yeah. With what's going on, because the online thing oh, is yeah. one big system. So, uh, it's the most applicable major at my college to uh, <laughs> to what I'm doing. So I actually switched from pre med into oh, systems wow. engineering last semester because. Okay. Um, I was just super interested in this, and then, you know, lo and behold, it ends up being like a major part of my life. So uh, yeah. hopefully, by the time I uh, by the time I graduate, I will learn a ton of things through the major that I've been able to apply to the blog. Yeah. So, yeah, even just getting good with different software. All the guys, all the systems engineer guys I know are just insane with computers in general. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Definitely applicable. Oh, so this is a good one for you since you work on blogging resources, but what were some of the major resources you use? Normally I ask if people get like uh, just different blogs, like podcasts. Uh, what did you use? Was it just 4K blogging and your brother's knowledge or anything else? Okay, so so originally I was like, you know, I'm just going to go under Chris's wing uh, on this, um, but I... That, that kind of bothered me a little because I don't I don't want to be thought of as like uh, you know he got there because Chris brought him there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've always had a little struggle with that, even taking the blogging stuff from him. But I think I brought a lot to the table, and uh, because like the reason I can is because I did a massive amount of research on this whole all of this stuff before I got in, um, and that's kind of when I realized how much I actually knew going into it. Um, from talking to Chris, but uh, my biggest resources probably, other than 4K blogging, were um, I read the entire Video Fruit blog. Oh my uh, gosh. Yeah. I, I went back all the way to the beginning at every post, and that helped a lot. Um, I also, you know, I, I read all of the blogging show articles in the past because I know um, it's just one of, the, one of the problems I had with the way it was run before, even though a lot of people loved it, was. Uh, it was really advanced, you know, like, you know, one of his first posts was like advanced email marketing and you're just like, but, uh, but uh, I've been, uh, for all the stuff about the basics, I've actually been, uh, just gotten into and will actually write a guest post for um, successfulblogging.com. Yeah. Um, so I'll, I'll write the guest post for it soon. It's going to be published in December. But um, yeah, it's it, a lot of uh, what she does. Uh, her name's Sue. What she does at that website is a lot about the writing okay. of it. Yeah. Um, you know how to write it, how to make it look really good, and that's like basic stuff that even I need to learn from. And I'm actually doing a um, a series on the blogging show right now on crafting viral posts. Okay. You know, and I've I've been uh, using a lot of the knowledge that I learned back then from uh, successful blogging to. Uh, to amp that up a little. Um, yeah, I just saw one today about like nine ways, I guess, to format a post or something like to that. Format a post, yep. and it, yeah. it's crazy how important that actually is. I'm reading that one. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh, <laughs> they're just little things like you know putting your headers in a certain font and making your margins a certain size that uh, they increase shares like insane. Yeah. Uh, just because it's more, it's easier to read. It's more fun to read, I guess. Um, the last one I'd say. Uh, I like to read a lot of blogs that are fun to read, uh, and I guess bold and determined. I got I read that um, often. Yeah, it's super entertaining. Super entertaining. It's blog. super oh entertaining, yeah. and it's it's fun to. Um, <clears throat> and I I hate to cite Game of Thrones, but it's the same kind of way where it's mm -hmm. like I see that, and it's like that's how I want to write. Mm -hmm. um, and that they have a really good voice. Those George R. R. Martin and uh, the guy at Badnet has. Um, they have such a good voice. They're so good at just like 
talking, mm -hmm. and I've been uh, I've gotten a lot of my inspiration for writing from the those two mediums. So yeah, uh, that's probably those are like the big the big ones that really helped me a lot. So. Yeah. And you're talking about just how they just how they draw the readers into the posts. Yeah, uh, the yeah. intro is always super captivating and uh, on uh, Bold and Determined and. Um, the titles too are like I'm like I don't want to click but no I feel like I have to. <laughs> I have to, I have to. Um, <laughs> which is that's that's a science. Yeah. Um, yeah. One of my favorite posts he ever wrote was uh, 33 ways to be the greatest or whatever. If yeah. anybody has not read that, you have to read the introduction awesome. alone. <laughs> I was like crying. It was so funny. Yeah. Um, like that's the, even though uh, you know the business and the fitness niche niches are, um, and like the inspirational niche, they're all very different. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I guess I can't be as um, you know crude or uh, just outwardly offensive <laughs> as uh, different as audience. Yeah. Um, in in my business, but the the whole voice and being able to just write the way you talk. Um, it's, it comes easy for a lot of people, it's hard for a lot of people, but that's like where I get inspiration for doing it. And I think reading other people is a great way to do that. I know a lot of people that, you know, uh, they do blogs and they they just like stick to their own stuff. Mm -hmm. and like, especially with fitness, because I, I know a lot of fitness because of Chris mm -hmm. at Test Shock. And, uh, and I wrote for, you know, a fitness blog over the summer and, um, you know, it, they, they're so set in their own ways. Uh, that they never want to read anybody else's, mm -hmm. and I think that they lose a lot of the other stuff you can benefit from reading other people, mm -hmm. and that is, you know, like uh, stuff with the voice and uh, how to find yourself in the blog, in the posts, and I think uh, that's lost a lot in the fitness niche itself because they're so yeah uh, they're so focused on not taking anybody else's advice. Yeah, so. no, that's so true. One of the guys I had on was talking about. Uh... John Romanillo in the his blog is uh, was like that. He came out and he wrote stuff that was very unconventional for the fitness yes. niche, I guess. And uh, it's just super interesting. You know, his stuff's not necessarily always about fitness. It's just interesting stuff. And just good writing, right. you know. Yeah, it is great. So you said uh, videofruit.com, and that's a site also on blogging. That's a good one. You said successfulblogging.com. Yeah, that's that's what I'm. I'm just starting to get into that uh, the last like, month or so. Okay. Um, it, it's it's a lot of basic stuff. Um, but sh uh, the, the Sue that runs it, I've talked to her a little bit. She, uh, she's great. She answers every email, okay. which is awesome. Yep. Uh, like immediately, which is really cool. Said so she helps everybody, uh, which is really cool. Um, and she herself, she made five grand in like a month or two of launching the blog. Wow. So that's like a really inspirational thing wow. for uh, wow. for for me, my <laughs> for me because I sell a product that's like four grand a month. So. Yeah. Um, that's cool to read. You know how other people are getting to, um, getting to that point. Uh, she doesn't. Um, it doesn't seem like she focuses a lot on the writing and not as much on the product sales. And mm -hmm. that's actually what I'm writing the guest post for her on. Okay. And that's like big and for blogging. It's like you got to get that product out, and that's how you do it quickly. Mm -hmm. um, so that's I guess that's where we differ a little bit. But same kind of thing though. Like she definitely has knowledge that I do not. Yeah. And that's uh, and I, I gotta read up on everybody else so that I can I can uh, absorb all that um, yeah. for my own for my own business. Well, that's good too. So people can supplement. I mean, they can get on the blogging show and then they can check that out too. Um, yeah. Let's see. So major resources. So like so far, you've been in it a little while now. What are like some of your biggest takeaways or like advice you could give people that maybe expedite the learning learning process for them? Oh man, um, I guess. It would have to be, you know, make big expectations, but don't expect that it's going to work out that way. Yeah. Because well, what I, I had big expectations going in. Like I said, I was like, I'm going to make six thousand dollars in this first month because yeah. I have an email list of thousand into it. And, um, you know, God had a different plan. I, I didn't end up even making the money the way I thought it was going to. I thought 4K blogging, that's going to be the business. Yeah. Um, it's ninety-seven dollar product. I'm gonna make so much money off that, but I'm also making a lot of money off of blog ignition. Um, even though it's a free course, you know, yeah. it's the um, it's just like affiliate affiliate sales for stuff. And oh, wow. I think if anybody if anybody is uh, worried about getting people in a product, that is a great way to do it. It's a free product with affiliate links inside, and it, it helps a lot of people. So it's not like I'm like stealing from anybody or anything. And, yeah. And, 
but you know, I, I just get paid for suggesting these um, paid products to them in the free course. Okay, and so, Blogging Nation, for people that don't know, is it's off the blogging show and 4K blogging site, correct? Yes, and it's, uh, it's the first five episodes of 4K blogging, and it's completely free. So um, it's all about the basics on you know, firing up the blog, actually setting it up. And you can set it up, and it's so easy. In like five minutes, people yeah. are so intimidated about setting up a website. You know, you must yeah. be some crazy coder. It's, uh, but we teach it a way that anyone can do it. Um, and you don't have to pay anyone a, like anyone a dime to set your website up for you. Yeah. It's just like the, the normal like hosting cost you have to pay for and stuff like that um, from outside sources. Uh, but you know, I, I made some good money off that. Surprisingly, that blew my mind. I didn't think that that was going to happen. But um, also, uh, you know, another thing I got handed. Um, well, I didn't get handed it, but it, it was just a um, you know a result of what I'm doing here. Is that I realized when I was going through these websites, um, and I was doing all the redos mm-hmm. of the blogging show. I was like, wow, I'm like I'm I'm pretty good at making these websites, right? And yeah. then. Uh, I had I'd worked on some websites in the past for people, and uh, I decided to start my own business of uh, making people make. I, I, right now, I'm doing corporate websites. Okay. Uh, it's called technicalmarketingagency.com, so it sounds super official. Nice. Um, <laughs> and uh, right now, I'm I'm just working on it with some people making uh, making some corporate websites, uh, and I'm making good money out of that too. So it's it's, wow. and that's just that's completely unexpected. So four yeah. K blogging. My expectations, you know, were way up here, and they ended up, you know, the reality was like here. But then I had no expectations here, and I'm like way up here with those. So yeah, uh, you have to have the expectations going into it, or you won't have any drive. But don't expect it to happen all that all that way that you expect, and mm-hmm. don't get bummed if it doesn't, yeah. because uh, just taking that first step and getting into the business is going to, uh, you know, give you enough resources and put you out there to get all these other things going, uh, make a lot of good friends. Uh, you know, I've met so many people through all this stuff are really smart and they're willing to help me. And, yeah. you know, it's just a, it's a great field to get into. So I just didn't expect any of that coming into it. I just expected, you know, I'm going to get some money. Um, I'm going to try to yes. sell this stuff. And I've, I've really, it's changed my pair. I had such a paradigm shift since then. Cause um, really now I'm kind of just like I'm super into the students that we have in 4K blogging right now. I yep. love helping them in the in the Facebook group for members. And you're answering the emails and stuff. You're the one doing all that for 4K blogging. Right? Yeah, I'm doing I'm doing everything. Yeah, um, Chris, right now Chris's involvement is going to be he'll he'll do an occasional post on the blogging show on you know his updates of how he's doing and lessons he's learned, and then he'll also be part of the podcast. Okay. So uh, that will be his involvement while he is out doing like. All his stuff, but uh, yeah. his uh, various stuff, stuff that is benefiting a lot more people than I am right now. Yeah. But uh, you know, I I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try to get there, and uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna be running most of it. Yeah. So. Okay. And that what you were saying about blogging niche actually kind of leads me to another question I had, which was like, how did you decide on a main source of income? I know with 4K blogging, you, you said you have the ninety-seven dollar product, which is the membership to 4K blogging. It sounds like you said you're making a lot from affiliate links in Blog Ignition, which is the blog to help people initially start their site. Can you talk a little bit about like what type of affiliate links you set up and for the people that don't understand affiliate links, how that works? Yeah, so um, basically it, you don't have to sign up for like ClickBank or anything, which yeah, I'm actually working on that for 4K Blog right now to continue affiliate marketing, but affiliate marketing um, in general is you get paid a percentage of the sale that you suggest to somebody else. So, okay. for example, if somebody is going to sign up for hosting through Blog Ignition yep. um, with Bluehost, you know, if they buy a year's worth of hosting, then I get a very small percentage of of that because I referred the sale, just like in any business. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know what? It, if any, it's kind of it kind of reminds me of the the freemium models on um, like apps and games you see nowadays, where mm-hmm. it's like you get so many people in for free. And then they do like the in-app purchases and stuff. Yeah. Um, I get a little less money than that, but it, that's the kind of model. And I've never even heard anybody really talk about um, the benefits of doing a free course. Yeah. You know, other than just to get leads. But if anybody's looking into that, like that, it, that is a good way to go because yeah. um, it's. I got a lot more members in Blogging Mission than I do in 4K Blogging, and even though 
Uh, I think I've still made more off of 4K vlogging, just like as a product, but vlogging mission is, is steady, and it's uh, people are doing it. The people, a lot of people are getting the hosting through the link, and yeah. you know, it, it's it's helping other businesses, and it's also it's giving me giving me stuff in exchange. So yeah, uh, yeah. That's interesting. Freemium model for like almost uh, yeah, because I know apps have it like, but they have ads on their freemium models or their their app versions that are non paid. But yeah, for a whole site that's like a course. And the thing that I think is interesting too about the blogging mission, for people that don't know, or blogging mission, is uh, that's actually, yeah, it's a really fantastic course if people will check it out. Because that's, uh, I know they have like the design hacks. I thought that was priceless, the design hacks part. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, Chris and I, Chris and I discovered a lot of that. Chris, Chris discovered a lot of that, but I, I helped with um, finding all that stuff. It's people just, they pay designers so much money mm -hmm. to make their websites. And you are one now, so. <laughs> um, um, You know, but like what I'm doing with my, with my website business is I'm not, I'm not just designing the guy. I, the, most of them are like stores and stuff and that's a little more complicated to put together. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But people that are just doing blogs, mm -hmm. they're like, I'm gonna pay a designer you know, a thousand bucks, put together this thing, and you can just go to Theme Forest, mm -hmm. you know, or uh, all the stuff we talk about, lead pages to make uh, really good pop-ups, and mm -hmm. um, it's a lot less money than uh, outsourcing to any designer. And, um, those are the things that, uh, you know, Chris and I have learned in our experiences that are just, that is priceless, because, yeah. Um, I'm so happy to like whenever I say whenever I tell people oh just go check Team Forest they're like what oh my gosh like I was gonna I was just gonna go pay a designer a bunch oh, of money yeah. like thank you and um, I just I love how much blogging mission helps people and I love getting like the emails of people just like oh my gosh your tips like they help so much but design hacks is definitely the I'd say that's probably the most like I've gotten the most thanks from that specific one because it saves people so much money. And yeah. it's, in, it's in a free course, so uh, people love it. Yeah, the, in, the Envato Marketplace, I think, which shows you like Code Canyons, like Icon Finder, Theme Forest, like that yeah. was ridiculous. When I first went on those, I was like, this is, this is insane. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like a gold mine. It's so perfect. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I remember when the sites first came out, your, yours and Chris's sites. Uh, Chris, Chris Walker, by the way, is Robert's older brother for people that don't know. And uh, I remember when I first saw them, I was like, "Wow, these designs are pretty unique." And then to find out that he was he was doing them, or you were doing them on your own with some of those themes, I was like blown away. That you guys showed people how to do that too, which is cool. Yeah, and that's that's the point. It's awesome. Uh, just trying to make it as easy as possible because um, we're trying to convey, you know, and that's why I set up 4K blogging. I I, I redid the whole thing and I um, set it up in one spot and I did it by like by weeks and stuff so that um, uh, it gives people a little like. Uh, you know, a time schedule, and it also, it, it's a little realistic, honestly, um, a lot of people think, you know, it's going to take me years to make a living off this, um, and while four $4,000 a month is in no way, you know, a super comfortable living um, for anybody, it's a, it's a great supplemental income, and you can definitely live off of it, oh, yeah. and, uh, and it can be done in a, a fairly short amount of time, and uh, while we kind of we kind of push people, we're like uh, we we set it a little fast so that people are pushed. Mm -hmm. um, they still get it done in a in a pretty realistic. Some people even finish before that. Yeah, you know, we got students that um, are getting it done even before the uh, the um, four months are over. Yeah, uh, in the course. But yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I just I lost my train of thought. But um, no, it's good. I went through some of the course. I mean, the videos are for everyone that doesn't know. Check it out, 4kblogging.com. The videos are fantastic. It walks you through step by step. It just goes screenshots as well as uh, right. instruction. Uh, so yeah, it's fantastic, man. I've been through. I've been through most of it. So, uh, yeah. so that kind of gets me into the next question, which is this is probably gonna be my last one, unless you want to elaborate. So. Current offerings. What are your products? If people want to find out more about Robert Walker or your products, where can they go? Okay. Well, right now, right now, I'm kind of um, I'm working on an about us page or about okay. me page for the blogging show. It's not up yet. So. Yeah. Uh, but if you want to like, read my writings, it's thebloggingshow.com. Um, from there, you can easily navigate to blogging mission, uh, and 4K blogging. Um. Blogging mission is native to the blogging show, so you can't really go through a 
uh, domain through that. But 4K Blogging, if you just go to 4kblogging.com, the number four, uh, then it goes straight to uh, the product page. Um, but you know, if you just wanna, if you wanna learn about me, I guess uh, uh, my Twitter handle is uh, <laughs> at Robadub Nub. Uh, <laughs> it's super goofy, but yeah. you know what? <laughs> I gotta this is what it is, man. My, my stuff and uh, you know, friend request me on Facebook, Robert Walker, uh, and you can do all that stuff from the blogging show too. So yeah, uh, that's if anybody ever wants to read or learn about me and get the products, that's where you do it. The blogging show dot com. That's the hub. Yeah, and I know you guys have the good, uh, I guess, the, the Facebook group now, too, with 4K Blogging. Yeah, so um, I just started that. So the Facebook group for 4K Blogging members is, I mean, it's one of the most valuable resources because um, all the people that join, they get put in this Facebook group with each other, and they're all hustlers, and they're all, they're really motivated, and they, they're posting all the time. They're asking questions. You know, yeah. I get involved with all that, and that's how I do most of my support. Um, I only get a couple emails about support issues, uh, like offline. but a lot of them are a lot of them are just in the 4K blogging members group, and it's awesome because people can help each other and they make the connections that they need to make because the blogging business is all about connections. Yeah. So um, you got to do that, and then I just recently started a blogging mission Facebook group. Um, it's kind of it, so for all the blogging mission members, they can join it, but they can only ask questions about the topics that are in blogging mission. Okay. Um, so it doesn't get like. <laughs> It doesn't get too carried away, but um, it, that's just starting to, like, I've gotten a couple posts in it. It's got to ramp up a little bit, but um, just know if, if anybody watching this joins Blog Mission, they also get a um, a little taste of the Facebook group that you can get in 4K Blog. So that's, that's uh, in my opinion, that's the most valuable resource that 4K Blog offers is this community of people that yeah, they, all, they all want to help each other. They, they're always commenting on each other, helping each other, and sometimes I don't even I don't even interject because they answer my questions for me. You know, they're, they're yeah, I've seen it. It's super, it's super active. I've seen it, man. It's, it's, it's super, super active. It's just blowing up lately. So yeah. um, that's one of the things that I've liked the most about running this is meeting all those people that are just such hustlers. And, um, they're all great. So I love that. Cool. And then, uh, okay, so they got where they can find you. They know about your products. Is there anything else you'd like to leave people with, like words of wisdom for them as we depart? You know, I guess my only thing would be um, if anybody's intimidated at doing this, you know, just remember a 19 year old is doing this yeah. <laughs> while in college in an engineering program. Also, anyone can do it while working a job. Yeah. Um, you got to have the expectations, but not get too bummed when the expectations aren't met because mm -hmm. they're being met in other ways. There's actually, I'm talking to, in the, I'm about to post a guest post of a 14 year old mm -hmm. that is, um, uh, that is posting and oh, he has wow. a blog and he's 14 years old wow. and he's going to make, he's going to make big money. So, yeah, yeah. um, well, the that's it, Anyone can do it. Mm -hmm. So I know the, the most intimidating thing about this whole process is just getting into the process. Yeah. And it was for me, you know, actually like putting myself out there, like, will people like me? Will, you know, and you can't worry about all this stuff. You just got to take the first step. And that's what we try to provide people with blog mission and 4K blogging is that first step. Because once you finish blog mission, then you gotta, you're ready to start making money. And then when you finish 4K blogging, you know, uh, you can turn four four thousand dollars a month into ten thousand dollars a month a lot quicker than you can turn zero into four. Yeah. So it's it's you just got to get the ball rolling. It's a rolling stone. So the hardest part is just getting started, and that's why we give it away for free, the the starting part, because um, we just want as many people to start as possible. So just take the first step, get in there, and that's that's gonna be my biggest advice. And anyone can do it. If a nineteen year old, if a fourteen year old can do it, yeah. anyone can do it. So. Wow. Cool. Okay. So yeah, people need to get on blogging mission and 4K blogging. Um, Robert, thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for having me. It, it was really good. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the recording real quick, and then I'll get with you offline for a sec. All right. Yeah, cool. Jump off this.